Hey there, welcome to the shed. Uh, I've got this old uh, table saw that I picked up used for a little bit of nothing. It's really a cheap, it's a junker. The top of it has been out in the elements and has really gotten pitted. It's all aluminum, uh, cast aluminum, and it's all blackened. I've been trying to take some aluminum polish and smooth it back out by hand. It's just a whole lot of work. So I'm trying an experiment. We'll see how this works. I took an orbital sander or palm sander and just put a piece of cloth on here. This is a piece of rag. You can buy them at Walmart. They come in big rolls. And I'm going to put some of the mother's polishing compound on here and try running that over this and just see how it works. We'll just see what happens. As you can see, I've got this kind of cleaned up in this area, but here on these sides, this is pretty much what it was like when I started, and I just want it smooth so that the material doesn't grab when I'm trying to slide across. So we're going to, I just want to take some of this paste, and get it on here, just get light coating on everything. See what happens. We'll definitely turn the rag black. Wiping some of this away and see what we got. Well, I'm pleased with that, and that's a heck of a lot easier than, than doing it by hand. So I'm going to keep going and get this done. Maybe I'll bring you back and, and show you how it looks when it's all done. Well, I couldn't be happier with the way that turned out. I'm going to call that good and ready to use doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, this isn't a piece for a showroom. I just want it so that the material slides across it real easy. I might put a little layer of wax on it when I get all done. But that worked like a charm. Well, and there you have it. Just to recap, all I did is I took some of the mother's mag and aluminum polish and I put a thin film on top of the aluminum take a piece of a rag and attach it to the to the palm sander and then just let it glide over top and let this do the scrubbing action on the surface and boy it took me I, I don't even think I spent an hour on it I got just some goop and the screw holes and stuff to clean out but well, that saved me a ton of labor, so if you wanted to do it, you don't need to buy these rags at Walmart. You could just use an old t-shirt or underwear. I just go through enough of these that if I used my clothes, I'd be running around naked all the time. So, anyways, good luck to you. Uh, if you like that tip, if you think it helps you out, go ahead and subscribe so you can follow along. We like to have fun out here at the shed. We have some funny stuff and some useful tips. You can kind of watch the progress as we're building our shop, and uh, usually my dog's around getting in the picture but misty's off i think chasing the neighbors or something so oh there she is she's behind the camera so uh anyways until next time enjoy and good luck with your project